So today I wanted to talk about a process called completing the square, which is just a graphical way to solve the quadratic equation. So what I have set up over here at the right is just a set of virtual algebra tiles. You may have a set of these for yourself or also have posted um, some that you can cut out for yourself to kind of play along. Or you can also use the same notebook file I have posted and play along on your computer. So first let's talk about how do we build this equation uh, using the algebra tiles. Uh, so the equation is x squared plus 4x equals 5. And so I'm using the blue tiles for positive numbers and the red tiles are negative numbers. So let's build this equation with the algebra tiles. Uh, first I have x squared. So that is the big square here. And it also says plus 4x. So I need some sort of combination of the horizontal x's and the vertical x's. And I'm going to go ahead and take uh, two of the horizontal ones and two of the vertical ones. So that's the left side of the equation. So let's go ahead and make the other side of the equation. I'll bring over my equal sign. And then it just says 5. So that means I need 5 boxes here to complete both sides of the equation. So at this point, I haven't really done anything with the equation. I just represented it with my algebra tiles. And so the whole point of this is we're going to complete the square. I have this built up. I don't really have a square here. I kind of have this little notch out of my square. And I have to think, well, I can probably make this a square uh, pretty easily. So let's see, what would I need to do that? Well, it looks like if I take four of these uh, one boxes, I could fill it in. And this is going to make a square. So let's look at that. On the top, along the top of my box, uh, well, this is a square that's x squared, so that means this is x. And then these boxes were x along the long side, and then one along the top. So this is one, and this one is one. Now along this side of the square, um, again, this box it had a length of x, and I have my x by one tile, so that means this is one, and this is one. So this is really 2, because 1 plus 1 is 2. And that means this side is also 2. So it looks like I have a box that has a width of x plus 2 and a height of x plus 2. So that means this box is not only a box, but it is a square. This side is the same as this side, so that makes it a square. Um, so let's see, we talked about adding these four to it. Well, since it is an equation, we have to do the same thing that we did to the left side to the right side to keep it balanced. So I need to add four more boxes to the right side. So what's that make in our equation now? We have x plus 2 times x plus 2 and it equals, well, how many boxes do we have over here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 boxes. So this finishes our equation. x plus 2 times x plus 2 equals 9. So we've completed our square here. We have x plus 2 times x plus 2 equals 9. And the only thing that we can do is rewrite this just a little simpler way. And we would write x plus 2 squared equals 9. So now that we've completed the square, let's go ahead and solve this equation. And uh, the first step I need to do is I need to undo this square root. So I am going to take the square root of the right side, which means I have to take a square root of the left side. And remember when we take square roots, we're always going to have to think about the positive and the negative square roots because when you multiply two squares, whether they're positive or negative, they kind of cancel each other out. So what is the square root of x plus 2 squared? Well, that's just x plus 2. Plus or minus the square root of 9 is actually plus or minus 3. Now we just subtract 2 from both sides. So x equals negative 2 plus or minus 3. And that means x equals, well, negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 
or negative 2 minus 3 is a negative 5. So that means x equals negative 1 or 5.